In an earlier video, I gave a partial proof showing that the determinant of A is equal to the determinant of A transpose. My proof hand waved on the plus minus sign. That is, I showed that these two were equal up to a sign. Determinant of A is 7. I show that the determinant of A transpose was plus or minus 7. I just stated a reason without showing it why it would be plus 7. But I didn't prove it. Hence, partial proof. Now, the very quick proof. This full proof is going to be 100% valid. But it's going to take a lot longer. So how about we get right into it. There are two main cases. Case one. Suppose A is singular. Okay, so if A is singular, that implies that A reduced has a row of zeros, which implies that the determinant of A is zero. Now, A transpose, let, reduced, A transpose reduced, would have a column of zeros, which implies that the determinant of A transpose is zero. Well, if two things both equal zero or both equal 17, they're equal. So we showed that in case A is singular, then A transpose the determinant of A transpose and the determinant of A are equal. Basically, this reduced matrix, A reduced, the transpose of that would have a column of zeros. Okay. So, that case was quick. It's done. Let's move on. Case number two is a bit longer. Case number two. Suppose A is non-singular. Now, we're going to only look at A's, matrix A's, that are elementary matrices. Okay. Type one elementary matrix A. A interchanges interchanges multiplying A by B interchanges two rows of B. Okay? So now, what we have is that the determinant of AB is negative the determinant of B. Because this here is the determinant of B, except two rows have been switched. And we showed that that would equal the determinant, sorry, that would equal negative determinant of B. But now, let us look at what type of matrix that A would be. So, it's the identity matrix where we switched two rows. 0, 1, and the rest zeros. And then, let us call this row R and row S. Those are the two rows we're going to interchange. So, 
this will be column R and this will be column S. We're supposed to have ones there. But since we interchanged the two rows, the one in row R is under column S. And later on in row S, instead of having the one here, we put the one here under column R. And then eventually we have this matrix. So this is matrix A. Well, let us look in matrix A transpose. The first row becomes the first column. Let me not have that one there. The first row becomes the first column. The second row becomes the second column. If you notice, so far, they're exactly the same. And then eventually, the auth row becomes the auth column. This is column R. And this is row S. Row S. And then we go, sorry, sorry. I, I put that one in the wrong place. Should be here, and then there. Actually, I'm tired. I had it correct. All these ones are getting to me. Then eventually we have row S. Eventually row S becomes column S. And then, so that's row R. And then we have zero, 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 one here, sorry, zero, zero. And then the Eventually, the last row becomes all zeros and then one. But now, if you look at these two matrices, they are identical. They are identical matrices. So, I was thinking about something else when I commented on determinants of a b okay so now since they're equal we're done the determinant of a is equal to the determinant of a transpose when we have type a elementary matrix so what we have is the determinant of A is equal to the determinant of A transpose. Put a check mark there. We establish that for type A. Type 1. Now we're going to go on to type 2. We're going to go on to type 2. Type 2 elementary matrix A. Well, what does A do? A when you multiply A by B A multiplies a row of B by K. 
Okay, that's what matrix A does. It multiplies a row of B by K. Well, A would be in this form. It would be the identity matrix. It would be the identity matrix modified just a little bit. For the row that you want to multiply by k, you put a k there. You put a k there. This is where matrix A equals. But this is equal to A transpose. That equals to A transpose. It's not going to change. It's not going to change. If you have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is A. Now, if I write this row as the column, and this row as the next column, and this row as the next column, and this row as the last column, we get the same matrix. Matrix A and A transpose are the same. Therefore, their determinants are equal. Okay, so we establish that type 2 matrices, elementary matrices, they have the same determinant for the transpose. Okay, now let's go on to the type 3. Type 3 elementary matrix. Matrix A. It multiplies a row. Actually, It adds a row of, of one matrix to, not one matrix, it's not like two matrices. It adds a row of a matrix. Why am I not stating this one right? I apologize. It adds a multiple of one row to another row. Now, what does this matrix look like? It looks like this. It's going to have the identity matrix. Maybe that's the one. Now that, oops, this last entry is a one. So we have the identity matrix. Now I pick any one of the zeros. If I want to add two times the second row to the third row, I come here and I put a 2 here. The key thing is this. This determinant, this matrix, is lower triangular. So the determinant of A is going to be 1 times 1 times 101. It's going to be, since it's our upper triangular, it is going to have, the determinant is going to be a product of their diagonal entries. Now, 
when you look at a transpose, it's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0. And then the sec, well, I take that back. This is going to be the first row. The second row is going to become the second column. The third row is going to become the third column. And eventually, we'll get to the end. Zero, 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 one. Okay. This matrix is lower triangular. Everything above the diagonal is zero. Okay. The determinant of this matrix, since it is lower triangular, is the product of the entries on the diagonal, which is one. So what we have is the determinant of A is equal to the determinant of A transpose. So in all three cases, for elementary matrices, the determinant of A and the determinant of A transpose are equal. Okay. But now we go on to case three. Case three. The general case. What if A is not an elementary matrix? A is not elementary matrix. Okay, but we're still assuming that A is non-singular. Okay, A non-singular. Why? Because we're completely done with A being singular. So if the general case. So A non-singular implies that there exist elementary matrices. E1, E2, up to EM. Such that A is equal to EM times, or EM minus 1, all the way down to E sub 2 times E sub 1. So, to determine, okay, so now, uh, a transpose will then be EM, EM, my, you know, let, let me hold off on that for a few moments. So, the determinant of A, the determinant of A is equal to the determinant of EM, EM minus 1, all the way down to E2 times E1. But this is the same as the determinant of EM times this other matrix. When you multiply these matrices, elementary or not, you get a matrix. And we know that the determinant of one matrix times another matrix, determinant of a product of matrices, is the product of the determinants. It's EM times the determinant of EM minus 1 all the way down to E2 times E1. So we have the determinant of EM times. Now let us break this off. The number before the matrix before that will be EM minus 2. So we have this times the product of that. Oh, when it comes to determinants, I can separate it. It's the determinant of EM minus 1 times the determinant of EM minus 2 times EM minus 3 
all the way down to E2 times E1. And continu oops, continuing in this fashion, we get that we end up with the determinant of Em times the determinant of Em minus 1, all the way down to the determinant of E2 times the determinant of E1. Now, since these are real numbers, since those are real numbers, well, let's just hold off. They are real numbers and we'll use that fact. Let's hold off on this. Now, the determinant of a transpose, well, it's the determinant of a transpose. What I'm about to write what I am writing that's A in the brackets transpose but this is nothing more than the determinant so remember transpose we switch the order this becomes E1 transpose times E2 transpose all the way down to EN transpose. But this is nothing more than from the same, you know, using the argument. Okay, first of all, when you transpose an elementary matrix, you get another elementary matrix. Think about that. Okay, so now this just becomes the determinant of E1 transpose times the determinant of E2 transpose all the way down to the determinant of E sub M transpose. But we showed that when it comes to an elementary matrix, I, the determinant of E1 transpose is just the determinant of E1 times the determinant of E2 all the way down to the determinant of EM. But all of these are real numbers. And real numbers say that I can switch the order. This is the determinant of EM times the determinant of EM minus one, all the way down to the determinant of E2 times the determinant of E1. But I can take two at a time. Determinant of that product is the determinant of EM times EM minus one, times the rest, or the determinant of EM minus two, all the way down to determinant of E2 times E1. Now, think of this as one matrix. The determinant of that matrix times the determinant of this matrix is the determinant of the product of those two matrices at minus two. And since matrices have dissociative law, I don't need to put those parentheses. Think about that, please. This becomes the, the determinant of E1 times EM minus one, times EM minus two, times the determinant of EM minus three, all the way down to E2, E1. And if we continue in this fashion, what we end up with is the determinant of EM, EM minus one, all the way down to E2 times E1. But somewhere we said it, let me just find it, that this matrix is equal to A. That matrix is equal to A. This is A. So I get the determinant of A. And there it is, folks. The determinant of A transpose is equal to the determinant of A. 
If you just love videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends and family about it. And I will see you, you in the next video. Watch and learn.